what is up my lovely people of the world we are here with nitro plus blasters heroines infinite duel i am here to tell you because i'm sure many of you are wondering the fuck is this game i have the answer off of my hours of experience in story mode in another story mode in network mode in training mode i don't have a fucking clue I don't actually have an answer. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know anything about these characters. I don't know a goddamn thing. But I have learned some shit about the mechanics. So let's talk about that. I don't know any of these characters. Oh, I should take that back. I know who this is, but she is not even a Nitro Plus character. Like, she is a specially licensed guest character. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to pick Ethica, because Ethica's my girl. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and beat up on Al, because why not? I've only played four characters in this game so far. I tried out Ignis first. I mean, of course, she's a redhead with a sm katana. Like, of course, I'm going to try her out first. Uh, then I tried out Ethica. Then I tried out Anna. And then I tried out Miramasa. So, when I'm talking about mechanics, it is possible that some of the other characters may break the mold. But I doubt it just because I there are a few that I have tested universally just to see whether or not I was talking out my ass or not. So, let me go ahead and pick her... I actually want to see if I can use her to combo into, because that would be... Oh, wait, what? I did not pick not... Oh, this is one of the worst parts. Um, we'll just... We'll get there in a second. Uh, one of the worst parts of this game is that you cannot just, like, cancel out a single decision. You have to just universally back all the way out to the main menu and then go back in if you make a mistake. It is fucking infuriating. I did not even mean to pick Natsumi. I don't know how the hell that happened. But this is going to lead into one of the awesome parts of training mode. You just come over to this menu right here. You can change your character to whatever the hell you want. You can change your assists to whatever the hell you want. So I am looking for Angela. It's a little weird that her last name is Ballsack, but you know, hey. I'm not here to judge. So, mechanics of this game. It is a rhythm game, as you can see over there. You have to press the buttons in sequence from what you see. There are five buttons. You have A, a through E, as you can see. Now, oddly enough, A, B, C. All normals. E is a normal d is like an evasive action slash special defensive option move thing i don't understand why that was not flipped why it's not a b c d that are the, all the normals and then e is this special thing uh but i didn't design the game so who fucking knows so anyway you have so this i'll just talk about this first so i can go through it you have this shield version which allows you number one so talk about a feature right there you can charge up your 5e that will cause a guard break if you block it normally if you block it with this it does not cause a guard break you just get to block it so that's one thing it is similar somewhat similar to uh using like a crush trigger in blaze blue uh barrier in it that kind of thing but if you i can change to make them block using vanishing guard that's what it's called so you see right there, she's kind of like you, all those flashes. So I can actually, you can kind of see it right here. This is not normally possible. If this was possible, this would be an infinite. Like, I'm fairly certain you cannot tech out of this move before I can do another one. But uh, for whatever reason, the way this thing works, same thing right here. You'll see her do that elbow constantly. That's her close 5B. And now I'm doing the regular 5B. Uh, normally that's not possible, so let me just change it to normal guard just so I can show you. So normally she just do two Bs and then it's done. Same thing with this. Like, once I do one of them, that's it. I can't just cancel into another one. So the way this works is that it actually resets the status of both characters. It removes hit stun. It removes block stun. Um, that being said, I don't know why I said it removes hit stun. It removes block stun and technically it does not remove, uh, my recovery. Because as you can see, it still takes a little bit of time for me to start blocking off of that. But, oh, actually, my multi-hitting normals, um, it's like a clash. It's similar to clashes in Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear in that when they trigger, I can then just immediately press another button and go into another move. So it's not a guarantee. Using this is not like a guaranteed punish because it removes any blocks done that is still on you. Because I can transition from a D move into an A move and potentially hit you out of whatever button you try to hit to punish me. Um, but that being said, I can't block after this, so, like, you know, I can't just react to that flash every time by doing something. Oh, you know what I want to try? Oh, I could just do that. I could totally react by doing that. I'm just gone, like, peace the fuck out. Yeah. 
that's actually a decent bait right there, like, because you can jump cancel or, uh, backdash cancel, so, there are limitations to it, it's definitely not a universal, like, if you use this, I'm gonna, you know, you're gonna get a punish for it, uh, so it is, you know, risk-reward kind of a thing going on there, but it doesn't cost anything as far as I'm aware, like, it doesn't cost meter, you see her meter isn't going down at all, it's just available, uh, so you have the evasive actions, this one is just your normal one, I'm not holding a direction or anything, you can just do it, that is mid high and it's just mid and high it's just mid mid and high and vulnerable but it is still vulnerable to throws and lows this is the opposite you can get hit out of it by a, a mid move or a high move but you cannot be hit by lows or throws while you are in that move so that's the d button obviously the rest of them are just you know they're normals you can chain through them as you would expect for so I don't again, this is the thing that I'm not sure about universally. Like Ethica can't do 5A to 2A, but she can do 2A to 5A. Uh, the one thing that I did test universally, just to be sure, you cannot combo 2B into 5B. Like that just doesn't work for anybody. Um, but you can combo 5B into 2B, unless with at least Ethica again. You see that? Like I'm doing 5BB. You can't combo into 2B after that. I don't know if every character has a 5BB. I don't know if every character is universally incapable of comboing into 2B off of 5BB, blah, blah, blah. So this is stuff that may only apply to Ethica, but I doubt it since it seems the rules on their normals seem to be pretty strict. But anyway, so you can chain from that into however many, uh, into 5B, 2B, and then into a C move, but you can't combo C move into another C move. So you see, like, I'm trying to just chain into 2C, it doesn't work. Trying to chain from 2C into 5C, it just doesn't work. From here, then you can go into an E move, and everybody's 5E does... As far as I'm aware, again, there may be somebody who breaks the mold, but I don't think there is. It either, so you see hers, it does a wall bounce. Uh, Ignis's does a launch. I believe Anna's is a launch. Miramasa's is a wall bounce. So it's one of those two statuses, which basically is just, you know, it's a combo extender. You get that wall bounce and you can do something off of it. Or you get the launcher and you can do a jumping combo off of it. And then 2E, as far as I'm aware, again, is universally a sweep. So if you're concerned about Ethica specifically, for some reason, for her 2C, you can't combo into 5E from it. I don't really know why. But you can't combo into a sweep from it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, so, going from normals, you are capable of special canceling the majority of your normals. For instance, with Ethica, I cannot special cancel her uh, sweep. But I can special cancel everything else. And you can also... So that's kind of, you know, Dengeki-ish. You have a set sequence of normals you can go through into a special move, into a super. But you have numerous things that can sequence break that kind of stuff so first up there in the top left or the top right wherever you're looking you have that blast meter uh normally you can just use this let me actually just uh use a meter real quick oops wrong wrong direction so you can see my meters regenerating after i use it i'm gonna get about half here uh let me use another go ahead and use another one and then let me just blast when you just do this normally you get about a full meter actually i think you get exactly a full meter from that and now I think if you, like, use Blast Canceling like that, I think it lasts long enough to get you about half a meter. A little bit more. You get a little bit, like, 60% of a meter. And I believe it's the same exact thing. You can Blast out of combos as well, uh, but I'm too lazy to bother doing it for you. But you can burst out of combos and you get that status for a little while. You get a little bit of meter back. I don't know exactly how much, but you get meter back. Um, I haven't noticed anything else. I've tried to test. Like, it doesn't seem to improve damage at all. It doesn't seem to improve, like, speed or combo ability, any of that stuff. That being said, you can use it. You saw me use it. It's actually kind of funny if I do this right here. Check this out. Oh, it actually didn't work right. I can just do it again. Uh, I can't do it again. So you see she gets frozen, but then she gets thrown back. I fucking love that. It's really entertaining. But so you can use it as kind of, you know, like, you see it causes the stun, so I can use it as a combo extender. Um, so you can use that as a combo extender. You can use assists as a combo extender. And then, you know, you recover and get to do more stuff off of it. And... I think that's it. Oh, one thing I did not mention. One common... This is a level 2. So technically everybody has this level 2. And then you just get a different sequence of stuff after you do uh, the level 2. Like, if I pressed all of the... If I pressed all A during all of this, I would get it. You see I'm getting a different chain. That kind of finishes in like an actual ender. Uh, if I do all B's, I get a launcher at the end. Which I completely fucked up because I don't know how to combo off of it. But, you know, you see. So there's different, there's options there. 
but I don't really think in general it's a good use of the level 2 because most characters get more damage out if they're capable of comboing into their level 3. So that's kind of how you sequence break everything is either with the use of assists or with the blast meter. And that's also kind of how you get, like I don't know if this is how it's actually going to end up kind of working out. But as far as I'm aware, most players tend to kind of like basically get to a point where they have either 2 or 3 meters, their assists are ready in to go, and they have their blast. And then the next hit they get, they get a 10k plus combo easy for the kill, like at that point. Like basically they get 2 or 3 combos nailed down their health to about 50%, 40%, and then they just go all in for one final combo to get that kill. Again, I don't know if that's universally going to be how the game is played. I don't know if uh, there are other options there, but from what I can tell, that seems to kind of be the case how people play. I kind of hope it isn't, because that seems really boring to just kind of like... I guess not. I mean, there's no... Well, uh, I don't know. I, I don't particularly like it, but I don't really have any, like non-opinionated reason for not liking it it's just i don't really think that's a compelling way to play where it's you know you kind of remove the comeback factor where like they have all these tools available then they save them for that one last gigantic combo and so you kind of want to save your blast as well just in case um so it can be kind of scary anyway we're not here to talk about opinions we're here to talk about stuff so uh what do i i guess all i really have is like ethica related stuff my corner combo that I struggled with so long. I struggled with that combo. Like, did you see how easily I just did that? No fucking problem. I'm gonna do it again. No fucking well. Okay, except for that. I am struggling sometimes with that. Like, if you don't let it go all the way through, sometimes even when I do let it go all the way through, I still just I can't. I can't. Oh boy. But yeah, I was struggling with that for so long. It was because, for one very simple reason, I was just normal jumping. And so I wasn't getting the same amount of forward momentum out of it, which meant that I was not crossing under. And it required, like, you, can, you can't you can do it with a normal jump. But the thing is, is, like, it requires delaying the timing of the 6A to follow up with. It requires delaying the uh, JD or JE after the JB. And even then, it was still really finicky. Like, I didn't get it down to a success rate of higher than, like, maybe one out of every five tries. Then I was like, you know what? Let me just try to super jump. And now I get it free, like, basically every time. <laughs> Love it. So then you also have some, you know, things like this. So, oh, that's actually not what I really wanted to do. Damn it, could you stop? Could you stop dropping things? I'm fucking up everything right now. The muscle memory... So basically, I have one of two options off of hitting the JE mid-screen. Well, without, like, barring assists and barring blast. Just normal stuff that I can do. I can either go straight into this special move and get that, or alternatively, I can basically do what you just saw into the B version, if I can get it successfully. As you can see, I don't really have the... That was weird. She definitely should have gone further than that. Or I can do that. I get a little bit less damage, but I get more corner carry off of that. So there's a variety of things you can do in this game to, that I need to work on. Uh... Another thing that I need to work on is utilizing both the hop and the aerial uh, dodge in order to continue like my pressure and stuff because, as you can see, I have time to throw out a normal off of that. Right? Like, I can do stuff off of that. That's kind of amazing. And it's actually, I figured out, uh, if somebody blocks her JC, like, her JC is amazing. It's a multi-hit move. Uh, hits from very high up. It's a fantastic move. I can actually cancel out of that and then go into the J, uh, do the roll into JB, or I can just land and do a low, or I can land and do a command grab. Like, if I make somebody block that JC, the amount of options I have at that moment is scary. So once I actually get it down where, like, it's just working in my head, and I'm just like, all right, I got this, now let me go nuts. Ooh, boy, God help you. But anyway, I want to try to figure out... Whether or not I can make this assist work. Kind of, sort of. I mean, that still requires a bit tile, like maybe. Oh, I didn't need the combo. I like doing that. Oh, I can totally do that twice. Did you see how that did 8,100 damage? Ooh, boy! 
It really just requires, uh, probably, oh, there we go, in that combo that time. And that does actually cause that little knock-up, so I would totally be able to do... Oops, fuck that up. That totally works. Ah, uh, actually, that may not work. I don't may not want to do that. I could potentially do this special move, but I forgot that that causes the side switch, and I really don't want to be letting somebody escape the corner. <sighs> the disappointment. Um. Yeah, I mean, so basically, I feel like assists are largely where a lot of the depth of this game comes from because they allow you so many options. So you have something like that where I'm trying to use that as a combo extender. Now you have assists like Kaigen, who is also a combo extender. But then you have assists like, well, actually, I'll do Franco on one, and now I want to look for Sone Miyuki right there. So like Franco, for instance, I would use in the neutral because that little bottle comes out pretty fast, but then also the follow-up shots allow me to do stuff off of it, so I get mixed up off of that. So a neutral and pressure-based assist right there. And then Sony Miyuki would totally be a pressure-based assist, because like, so watch. She comes out with a bat, right? Pretty damn cool for somebody to come out with a bat and wallop somebody in the face. But, oops, wrong assist. She auto-tracks. So, uh, <laughs> you like, so if somebody's trying to like zone me out on the ground, I see motion, say hi. Like, that's so fast, it auto-tracks. The only thing it doesn't do, if you're in the air, I can't do anything about that. So that is the limitation of that assist. But so, something like that, which I can use as a defensive assist. Uh, you also have one that's actually explicitly meant to be a uh, defensive assist. Miss Sakura. You see she doesn't do anything? That is a counter assist. So if somebody hits that assist with anything, with a normal, with whatever, it triggers a counter hit. So basically, if I see somebody throwing out that vanishing guard, and I just react with Sakura thinking, oh, they're going to throw out a normal, maybe they do, and they end up getting punched in the face by the assist. Or, more in the more likely scenario, people see that assist come out, and they just get scared. Having somebody scared to hit a button or do anything against a command grab character that I can then follow up into, like, fucking just uh, absolutely obscene damage with? That's kind of nice. So, I'm definitely looking at a bunch of different assists trying to figure out uh, kind of exactly where I want to go. And I do feel like a lot of the setups will actually end up being matchup based rather than just like a universal. You know, I kind of have a universal setup right now where I kind of tend to like uh, Sakura is one and I like Kaigen as two. So, like I have my assist, my defensive assist, and then I have a combo assist. Um... So that's, you know, that's a nice little balance going on right there. But then you have two combo assists, maybe, if you want. You can have, even then, Sakura still, any assist will still benefit you as an offensive assist, potentially, because of the fact uh, that you have, you know, that just, that cancel potential. So, like, I can just use her as a cancel real quick if I wanted to. Um, so, yeah, I do feel like a lot of the depth from this game is derived from its assist and the assist system and all the things that it allows you to do. But anyway, hopefully, I'm hoping, uh, I, I'm definitely not going to get any matches right now because the only reason I'm able to record, I have time to sit down and record this on this particular day, the day of my canceled class, is because I had a class that got canceled. Apparently, my teacher had the flu, um, and so she canceled class, and thus, I am here, but the problem is, my class starts at 9 in the morning, so uh, ain't nobody playing this game at 9 in the morning. I did actually try yesterday i had a little bit of time in the morning and so i just went on i was like all right let me check ranked let me check um every let me just check everything let me see if anybody's around nobody was around well actually i checked it about 1 p.m so even then, like it's even later than now it seems like you know most anime games tend to be you know like the height of their activity tends to be kind of like eastern time the eastern time zone evening uh and even then like for games like this I don't know how much of a community they have, man. I did play some last night, um, just for my little story. I played last night. I played. I got. I joined a lobby of six people, and I played a few matches. I beat a few people, and then I got my ass handed to be uh, by a Miramasa player who definitely knew his combos. Like he was hitting me with seven k, eight k damage on average. It hurt. It was. It was. It was a painful experience. So he blew me up, and after that, I was just kind of like, man, I cannot sit around here and wait for five fucking matches to be able to play again.
fuck that. I'm out. I'm going to try, you know, make my own lobby. Um, and so I did. I made my own two-person lobby. I grinded out some matches against a heart player. And that is the problem, is that he was a heart player. Three of the other players in that six-person lobby were heart players. So that leaves the Miramasa, me, and then there was a Homura player in there. Uh, I joined another random lobby after that, a heart player. So there are a lot of heart players running around right now. And I hope that that is not how it's just going to work out. Like, I just had a, you know, a bad streak of luck or whatever, and I just ran into the same character over and over. Because in a game like this, I want to see some character diversity. I'm not here to try and, like, grind out one specific matchup and shit. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that changes. Because if I just have to keep playing heart, especially the way those people played heart, like, I don't want to knock on people because the game's fairly new, at least the English release is. I'm certainly not the best in the world. Uh, but the way these people played is that kind of play where it's like, they are not trying to improve, they don't know how to improve, they're just doing buttons, they're doing DPs, they're doing random special moves, they have no idea what they're trying to do, they're not even trying to do combos, that kind of thing, to the point where it's like, alright, this dude is just here for a week to mash on buttons until he gets blown up so much that he's like, alright, this game's too hard for me, I gotta go do something else. Uh, and that was the majority of people that I played, unfortunately. So, like I said, I don't know how long this game is going to last, but we'll fucking see.